Well, you can see our campsite here. We've got everything set up here in Hollywood, Florida for the next few days. Uh, got our toad unhooked. I actually used it last night going down into Miami. You can see these campsites are fairly small. I'm going to walk around here. Uh, we're at the KOA campground in Hollywood, Florida. Uh, it's about the closest to the beach that we could find in the Miami area. I'm going to turn around. You can see this is kind of a small campground. It's clean. Everyone was nice when we got here yesterday. The few people that we've met so far just overnight have been extremely nice. Uh, but it is a small campground with very, very few amenities. Uh, they do have full hookups, 50 amp, 30 amp, etc. Water, sewage, and it's good water too. I used it this morning. Uh, but as you can see, the campground is kind of small. I'm going to just kind of walk around the perimeter here, see what all's here myself. Today, our planning. We're uh, going to go have a beach day today uh, down at South Beach or Hollywood Beach. I'm not sure where Lisa and everyone wants to go. Looks like we're uh, looking at the weather and just looking at it outside. We're going to have a beautiful day. Actually should have next uh, over the next week between here and Florida Keys. We should have uh, beautiful weather all week looking, looking ahead at the weather. All the sites you can see have uh, a rock patio. Uh, they do provide the furniture that's out there uh, at each site. The sites are kind of tight but you really have enough room. I was concerned about that when we got here. Uh, that the sites were just going to be so small that you wouldn't have any room or any privacy but that turns out it's really not the case. It is a tight, tight fit but the aesthetics they have and the few palm trees that they have, uh, everything, everything fits and seems to work well. You can see the end of it down there where you get to the main street. Got one from California in here in South Florida. And one from Quebec. This is coming back in from the back side on, on our site. We got our site set up yesterday afternoon and uh, really hadn't had a chance to enjoy it. When we got in, we got ready and we took off down to South Beach and down there at Miami, we wanted to see that scenery and we saw it. We got in so much traffic, it was virtually just gridlock. Virtually just gridlock. But we made it out and uh, finally got back in here about 10 o'clock last night. Good morning. You can see this is a KOA campground. Uh, here's the office area and laundry, restrooms, showers. kind of a tight fit. Here's the entryway where you come in off the road here. Uh, it was a tight fit making the turn off the city street. You certainly have to do a wide turn to get it to get it to turn in there. It relatively seems like a calm neighborhood. Wasn't a lot going on last night when we when we uh, got back here but we were ready to Settled down after driving all day. Uh, we were tired. My uh, motorhome has developed a little water leak. And I'm going to have to address that today. See if I can find that. Or get me a mobile mechanic up here to handle that before we head on to the Keys on Tuesday. Good morning. You doing okay? But it does, it looks like we're just going to have a beautiful day here at the KOA campground. Uh, a lot of not, not a lot of amenities, but our trip here was more over the beach here in Miami. Uh, my stepgirls and my wife had never been here. 
and then uh, one of my children is going to join us down in the Keys. He is flying in on, uh, he'll be flying in on Wednesday and going to join us down there on Wednesday. And uh, he and I are going to take a little fishing trip while we're down there. I haven't been deep sea fishing in probably 25, 30 years and he has never been. So we're going to take that trip together. Well, and that brings us right back to uh, our campsite. Want to take note of our Family Mo Motor Coach Association number, 474-722. Anyone that is not a member of the Family Motor Coach Association, where you have a motor coach, a travel trailer, or a fifth wheel, everyone is welcome in that association. I have found over the last couple of years that I've been a member, it has certainly been a great asset for information. Uh, they have a lot of a lot of get-togethers all across the United States, and uh, it is an excellent organization, uh, in my opinion. The magazine I get every month, I'm not an avid reader of anything, but I read that magazine from cover to cover. It is that interesting if you really like uh, the RV lifestyle.